The Hyundai i10 followed the beaten path in the compact car class, which was first taken by its relative, the Kia Picanto. However, the top 10 has confidently taken a position among competitors, and it has its own army of fans. What attracts the baby from Hyundai? The Hyundai i10 model is built on a common platform with the Kia Picanto concern, and they use many common components and assemblies. Curiously, the founder of this class of compact cars is Picanto. It was first born in 2003, and four years later it underwent restyling, and it was at this time that the Koreans from Hyundai decided to present the hero of our material to the public. Corresponds to the idea. There is only one modification i10, five-door hatchback. In general, the bodies are distinguished by good corrosion resistance, although there is still one weak spot, see photo, weaknesses. Despite its compact size, the baby is notable for good safety. It has four stars out of the maximum five according to the results of the 2008 Euro NCAP crash tests. Thanks to a number of original stylistic solutions, the interior of the Hyundai i10 looks attractive, the toy instrument panel, where the speedometer occupies the main place and this is emphasized by a protruding semicircle of the visor, the high stump of the center console, on which the gear shift lever is installed and many round elements of the heating and air conditioning system of the cabin. Like many classmates, the i10's plastic trim is hard and can squeak over time. Noise isolation is weak. There are not many complaints about the quality of the finish and the reliability of the equipment, see photo, weaknesses. At the same time, the visibility from the driver's seat is very good. The only thing that can worsen it is the rear seat head restraints in the raised position. They block visibility through the glass, and if they are lowered onto the backs, they will put pressure on the back of the rear passengers. Due to the high position of the gear shift lever, shifting gears is very convenient. There is practically no lateral support in the front seats, but there is seat height adjustment. Due to its compact size, two passengers can normally accommodate in the gallery. It will be frankly cramped for three adults. The seat backs are placed vertically. However, this feature is more pronounced on a long journey. When traveling around the city, for which, in fact, the Hyundai i10 is intended, you do not have time to feel discomfort. An important advantage of the baby is that its trunk is one of the largest among competitors, and you can increase its size by folding the rear seats. True, at the same time, a flat cargo area does not work, in the supine position, the backs create a step. The loading board is also high, it is inconvenient to get weights. But actually, this car never claimed to be a carrier of bags of potatoes or cement. Almost all Hyundai i10s are equipped with gasoline power units, economical diesel versions were not officially sold with us. The engine range includes two 1.1-liter engines with three valves per cylinder and 1.2-liter engines with four valves. There are other design differences that affect the specifics of their service. So, a smaller unit is equipped with a timing belt which must be changed along with the rollers every 60,000 kilometers. The 1.2L engine uses a durable metal timing chain. In addition, a 1.1-liter engine needs periodic checks every 90,000 kilometers, and, if necessary, adjustment of valve clearances, while hydraulic compensators are used in the cylinder head of a larger unit. All I-10S are equipped with low-power batteries, 35A, which means that if the car is standing for a long time, and even with the anti-theft alarm activated, the battery is quickly discharged. Most of all, this is felt in winter in extreme cold, many owners complain that it is often difficult to start the engine. Due to the limited space under the hood, a more capacious battery cannot be installed. Another common feature of engines is that they are demanding on fuel quality. When using bad gasoline, the throttle valve and idle speed controller become clogged over time, this is evidenced by unstable idling. Sometimes cleaning of contaminated nodes helps, otherwise they will require an expensive replacement. In pre-styling cars, a failure of the coolant temperature sensor was noted. Moreover, what is bad is that there is no arrow indicator on the instrument panel, and the signal light does not light up due to this breakdown, so the owners will find out about the problem when the engine overheats. To avoid trouble, Minders advise owners of pre-styling cars during service to check the sensor's performance or preventively replace it with a new model part. The unit has 1.1 liters and a specific sore. Oil leakage was noted from under the front cover of the engine and the oil pan, but his 1.2 liter counterpart did not have such problems. The interior of the Hyundai i10 is attractive. The casing is distinguished by good wear resistance, and only the branded radio and the automatic gearbox lever should be criticized. On the back sofa, 
there will be enough space above the head even for tall passengers, but there will be not enough legroom for them, although people of average height will be quite comfortable here. Lowering headrests, a compromise between visibility and comfortable fit. An important advantage of the Hyundai i10 over many competitors is that its luggage compartment is one of the largest in the class, 225-910 liters versus 165-625 liters for Cherry QQ and Diwoo Mate Eyes, and 140-750 liters for Peugeot 107. Officially, we only sold petrol versions of the i10, but the Europeans could also choose turbo diesel modifications. All Hyundai i10s are represented by one modification a five-door hatchback. The only weak point of the body is the trunk lid. Post-styling versions, photo above, can be recognized by modified bumpers, completely painted in body color and built-in red reflector reflectors. Hyundai i10 has two transmissions, five-speed manual and four-speed automatic. In practice, automatic transmission, aggregated with a 1.1-liter engine, turned out to be less reliable. However, this only applies to versions before 2011 and those owners who prefer an active ride. Due to the low power of the motor, the load on the gearbox increases and, as a result, accelerated wear of the gear packages occurs, as indicated by shocks when switching. After 2011, the manufacturer upgraded the automatic transmission and they became more reliable. By the way, this problem is also inherent in the related Kia Picanto. During operation, gearboxes need to be lubricated, in automatic transmissions, oil is changed every 60,000 kilometers, and in manual gearboxes, 90,000 kilometers. The dynamics of both versions of the Hyundai i10 is rather weak, acceleration to 100 for a 1.1-liter car with a manual gearbox is 15.2 seconds, and for a 1.2-liter, 12.8 seconds, but cars with an automatic are even slower. True, it should be noted that the versions with mechanics are much more economical. 1.1 liters have a consumption in the urban cycle of about 6 liters, and 1.2 liters have 6.5 liters, while both cars with an automatic consume about 10 liters per hundred. Fortunately, according to the manufacturer, both engines of this small car can eat cheaper A92 gasoline. Like most competitors, the Hyundai i10 suspension is stiff and well conveys all the flaws in the roadway. Although, thanks to such a collection, the small car confidently holds the road in turns and during sharp lane changes and it is pleasant to drive it briskly. Domestic experts have no comments on the reliability of the running gear. Most often, after 30 to 40,000 kilometers, in the McPherson front suspension on our roads, you have to change the stabilizer struts, while its bushings can last at least 60,000 kilometers. Silent blocks of levers and ball bearings run 80 to 100,000 kilometers but the rear semi-independent suspension is generally considered eternal. The only thing that sometimes worries on cars with a range of up to 40,000 kilometers is that the front suspension can knock when driving through bumps due to insufficient fastening of the front levers at the factory. But the steering, equipped with an electric booster, turned out to be short-lived. After 60,000 kilometers, the rack bushings wear out, which, again, is evidenced by a knock when driving through bumps. But everything is in order with other consumables, the tie rod ends serve about 100,000 m, and the traction rods themselves last even longer. The braking system of the i10 is more advanced than the Picanto, it is equipped with all disc brakes, whereas the Kia uses drums in the rear. Not found in Hyundai and a sore inherent in a relative, accelerated wear of the front pads. Domestic servicemen have no complaints about the i10 brakes. The decorative chrome coating of the automatic gearbox lever turned out to be of poor quality, it will peel off over time. Rust can only appear on the trunk lid, around the rear window. For cars 2009 to 2010 onwards, problems with the branded radio are noted, the display may go out or the sound may disappear. On vehicles up to 2011 a failure of the coolant temperature sensor was noted, after it was upgraded and it became more reliable. 